Okay, I'm here to show how to test a rectifier regulator um, off of a motorcycle. This is a 1982 CB750. Um, it's a little different than some of the rectifi regulator rectifiers off motorcycles because it has some extra wires and that's because it's a non-permanent magnet type charging system. So you have your three wires, high energy wires coming back from your stator. You also have the two wires that feed your rotor to create the magnetic field. So it's a little more confusing to test. Now I highly recommend from Electrosport, and I'll put the link in the comments, that uh, you get this PDF which I found and is copyrighted by them and all credit to them. But I uh, highly recommend that for just the basic steps for troubleshooting the whole charging system. But this finally takes us down to uh, section C that you're doing the diode tests on the regular or rectifier regulator. So first you need a voltmeter that will actually test a diode, has a diode function. That's this little emblem right there you see on there. And that's just diodes just make sure the electricity flows in one direction. So there's a lot of directionality um, going on with putting the plugs in the right place. So that's what we want to do. So first off, you don't test any of those those are not your positive and negative leads they refer to that's that's why i wanted to make this video versus some of the ones i've seen out there that's on this other plug so starting out you want to put your hot your red onto the battery return which is this is from a honda so it's a red and white striped uh wire so we'll get that thing in it's got a little bit of corrosion in there and so we want to check each of the yellow leads, and uh, depending on what type of motorcycle you have, there'll be different colors, but it should be three wires uh, of the same color. And all of those, we got nothing. So no flow in that direction. So it's pretty easy. We flip it around. Again, that directionality. So now we're trying to push electrons the other way through the system. All right. And so each of these should show out right at half of a volt. That's what the readings for a uh, diode test are in volts, not ohms. So all those are real close to half of a volt. Okay, so that's one way. Now we want to check the, that's the hot end. So we'll do the, basically the same thing on the negative. And now there is a black wire on the Honda, but that is, a, I guess, just an extra ground. The one you want to check is the green wire for Honda. And this nice little guide I referred to tells you what the colors will be on some of the other motorcycles. I'm not familiar with those. So same deal, no flow, no electrons getting through the diodes the wrong direction. So let's flip her back around, put the red lead into the green and check. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0.5. And so that was a little bit low, but essentially you've got a good test. And according to the flow chart, very good comprehensive flow chart. That's the diode test for motorcycle uh, rectifier regulator. Like I said, there's a lot of other steps involved here, checking your rotor, checking your stator. Um, as it turns out, uh, the reason I was checking this, I was, I'm having low charging and it turns out that corrosion I was talking about in here, I just had a bad connection back to the battery. So everything else was fine, just needed to clean that contact up. What I'll probably do is just cut this thing off and splice it directly in. So that's pretty much it. I uh, hope that was helpful.